I will do this again if I have to keep my life. And if I have to defend my life, I will make the same decision. Just moments after that interview, police arrested that clerk in connection with a deadly shooting inside his family's convenience store. The clerk says that he feared for his life, but police say surveillance video tells a different story in the shooting death of a 21-year-old man Friday night. And here's the thing. This is the second shooting at that store in just two months. Steve Kagans joins us live from Pierce County with more. Steve? Yeah, Matt, that arrested clerk's wife. She she was actually injured during a shootout with an alleged robber just about a month and a half ago. Today, we interviewed the clerk right before police put those handcuffs on him. He told me he felt he had to defend his life. The police tell us the man he shot and killed posed no threat. He was keep reaching for my gun, and I was really afraid that what if he was... What if he took actually my gun and shoot me? 30 year old Min Kim told Q13 News he thought he would be killed when he claims a man trying to steal cigarettes pushed him to the ground and tried to steal his gun. I pulled my gun, gun out and I shot him a couple times, yes. But Pierce County Sheriff's deputies say store surveillance video captured a much different scenario between the clerk and the victim, 21 year old Jaquiel Mason, as he tried getting away. The struggle that we see on the video is a store clerk punching the suspect. And then when the suspect goes to leave the store, we have video of the store clerk firing rounds at him. It's not the first time bullets flew at the Pacific Quick Mart. Back in February, Kim's wife, Sewell, got into a shootout with an alleged robber. A bullet ripped through her side, and the shooter took off running. Police quickly arrested that suspect. The two shootings are not related, according to investigators. But this time, police say Sewell's husband wasn't in any danger. We know that just the previous month that his wife was shot out there in a robbery. We understand that. that probably leads to high emotions and people carrying weapons, but if you're going to carry a weapon, you have to have the responsibility of carrying that weapon. And we can't have shoplifts turn into homicides. Now, the shooting victim in this case, he is no stranger to law enforcement. Police tell us that Mason pled guilty after trying to abduct a six-year-old Tacoma girl. He also pled guilty to attempted burglary. Now, the clerk here will likely face a judge tomorrow. He could face murder in the second degree. We're live in Spanaway. Steve Kiggins, Q13 News.